I'm Mark. I'm Amanda. And I'm Josh. And this is Alter Ego Plays Brewcrafters Travel Edition. Uh, we're back to show you how to play another one of our favorite quick games, uh, Brewcrafters Travel Edition from Dice Hate Me Games, and Dice do hate me, so I support their position. They make a, a big, big box version of this uh, that is more expensive and far more elaborate, but this is the quick travel, what I like to call the purse size box, and it's a great, simple Euro style game, and we're going to rock it out for you and show you how it be. That would totally fit in my purse. Seriously. <laughs> um, well, I think maybe your purse is too big is the problem. Uh, all right, so the first player is whoever has had a beer most recently. When was the last really? time you had a beer? Uh, Friday. Okay. My... Last night? Okay, yeah, you would. <laughs> that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> so, in Brewcrafters, you are trying to build your reputation as the biggest, best brewer of, uh, well, not necessarily the biggest, but as the finest brewer of, what's it called? Craft beer? Yes. Is that the stuff you guys drink? In all drink? the land. In all the Fancy land. Beer. And because it's Euro style, that means we have a fun little card tracker and we have to keep track of our reputation as we go. You'll notice the little 21 on there is circled. Once someone has scored 21 points, that triggers the end game. So uh, we're going to start with Amanda, which means... If I trigger, I get 221 points on my turn, the game is over because she went first, so we've all had the same number of turns. Uh, but if it is an uneven number of turns, then we finish so that everyone gets the same number of turns, and then po highest points win. And the way you build your uh, brewery is you've got basically one type of card in the game that has different subtypes. So every card has this little symbol up in the yellow corner, and the yellow post-it note looking guy, and that's going to denote what type of ingredient it can be used as. So you've got hops, barley, fruit, coffee, and wheat, right? What's the other ingredient in beer, Mark? Malt. I'm sorry, malt, hops, yeast, fruit, and barley. What's the yellow and coffee. Stuff? That is yeast. If you look in your card right there, it'll tell oh, you. Oh, yeah. That'll tell you both the ingredients, and then the number next to it will tell you how many there are in the deck. Yeah, so you see fruit and coffee and yeast are less common than malt and hops. Uh -huh. I thought those were clams. Yes, they could be clams <laughs> or coffee. Uh, I think hops might be pine cones. There's a lot Absolutely going on here. A pine mm -hmm. cone. Uh, but then each piece can also be played into your brewery as a permanent object. So when you're playing oh, to sorry. brew something uh, on the opposite side of your little help, helpful card there, it'll show you what it costs to brew. So if I want to brew an ale, I have to have a, what is that, a hops, two barley, and a yeast. Oh. I'm sorry, a malt, two hops, and a yeast. Barley's not on here. I don't know why I keep saying it. But, uh, and then those are the cards you have to play. Or they can be played into your brewery permanently. So for example, you could play a Hops Infuser is one of the cards we have out here. And then when you do, once that's been played into your brewery, forever after, when you brew an ale, a lambic, or a special, you'll get one extra victory point. You can also hire employees. You could have an employee manager, which would mean at the end of the game, you get one extra victory point for each employee that you have. Uh, but there are also employees that do something more specific. For example, this Porter Specialist gives you one extra victory point for every ale and porter you brew, and you earn those as you brew them. So you have to balance playing something as an ingredient versus playing it permanently into your uh, brewery. And you can only have one of any given named piece once. So you can only have one hops infuser. You can't have three hops infusers and just go to town on Lambics. But uh, that is the basis of what you do. Your turn, every turn, is going to be you draw two cards. You can take them from the lineup, like, so I could take these two, or you can take them from the draw pile or any combination thereof. So I could take this one and one random one. Now, the advantage of the random ones, aside from being something that's not out here, is your opponents don't know what you have. Uh, if I know that Mark is going to go brew those specials, I might want to try and steal the fruit from him so that he can't complete his recipe. But he always has one other option, and that is you can always use two of any ingredient to substitute okay. for an ingredient you don't have. So if you have no coffee, you can use two extra malts to substitute in for the coffee. I don't think it really works that way. Uh, not in real life, no. Uh, that would be terrible, yeah, terrible well, beer. I'll share this one. Malt okay. and coffee. Ha he has one. They're double-sided. I have two. Well, they're double-sided. You have two just because you have two. Okay. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, this will refill. Mint will start as the first player, and then first player will essentially rotate from there. All right, so in this episode of Alter Ego Plays, I screwed up, which is sort of my lot in life. But uh, I did a quick skim of the rules. I haven't played this game in a couple months, 
and I told us wrong about the turn marker. The start player stays where it is uh, and just rotates through, which gave us a lot of trouble during the game, but I waited too long to look it up, so we just played it out using the existing rules. I apologize, that's my bad, uh, but you can still follow everything else in the game just fine, so here it is. Okay. And so we go first. You don't need to look that side. Yeah. That's for four yeah. player games. This goes from two to four. Uh, one, two, and three player games are basically just like this. It's a free for all. Four player is actually got a team on it, uh, which is not relevant because we only have three players. But let's go ahead and start. So Amanda, you can. The first step you do is take the cards. The second step is either brew or play into your brewery. Okay. So you can't play into your brewery and brew in the same turn unless you have the night shift card, which is not out here yet. Two cards. Correct. You draw two cards, you right. only play one card unless you're playing a unless you're actually brewing something, in which case you play all the ingredients. I do I do like hops. Okay. And I think that I would also thank you. And the lineup's gonna refill or the river, as Alex calls it, is gonna <laughs> refill every time a card is taken. I'm gonna take an employee manager. Okay. So now you have the option to play cards into your brewery or brew something. A uh, point of interest that might be relevant to this is at the end of your turn, you must discard down to seven cards. Now, obviously, no one's in danger yet because she's only drawn two, but okay. to be aware of that, you can't hoard cards forever. Eventually, you'll need to play them. I, and um, no Trevor rules. <laughs> and uh, I can have employees before I have stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. you don't have to have, yes, they're theoretical employees. Okay. They, they do more esoteric things like manage overall systems. They're not operating specific machines. So Amanda's played the employee manager, meaning she's going to want to grab more employees and install them because they're going to be worth victory points for her. So you're done. Now Mark's up. So you draw two cards from one of these two sources or a combination thereof. This is like uh, Urbania, but with beer. Um, it's possible I haven't played Urbania in a while, but it's... I thought Urbania was one with the tiles. It, it is, but you also have the cards and you also have the having to decide if you're going to use it for this or for that. Okay. And the, I, I'm reasonably certain. Yeah, Urbania stuff. from Mayfair Games. It's about building uh, skyscrapers and buildings and whatnot. All right. Uh, for that guy. So Mark has hired a brewmeister. Ooh. Or a brewmaster. <laughs> I like meister. You know, you can do a lot of things. <laughs> um, let's see. So Papa needs a brewery tour. There's some doo doo. There's some doo doo. <laughs> I have so doo -doo, much equipment. Doo -doo, doo -doo. I'm going to grab an employee manager as well. Uh, and then I'm going to play Night Shift. Aww. Night Shift means that after brewing, you may also play one card into your brewery. Now, I can't use it this, this turn because I've just installed it. But uh, in the future, basically, it'll allow me to play cards and brew in the same turn. Ooh. Okay. This is very confusing. Uh, Mark's learning. Have you played this before? No. You know more about beer than the rest of us combined. Though. It's true. I don't want to know how it's made. <laughs> just want it to be delicious. I like hot dogs. <laughs> I don't want to know how they're made. I really don't like hot dogs. I mean, they're all right. If they're I mean, beef hot dogs. I mean, they're all right. If they're Nathan's or... I mean, God bless Nathan's. Yeah. Oh. You know, a fine kosher hot dog. I'm reasonably certain they don't make the cheesy Nathan's anymore, though. Because that's just a crime against humanity. But You're geez, a crime a against dog. humanity. That's delicious. So for me to brew something, I have to have all of these if elements. So all of the ingredients, or like I said, you can spend two cards of another type that are identical to replace one you don't have. Okay. And I, I draw before I brew? Or you I draw brew before, before you brew. I draw. draw cards first, then brew or play cards. And what is this gear? Uh, the gear just means it's uh, you get bonus points for each installed machine. So see how equipment have this symbol and workers have this symbol? And do you use equipment to brew? Uh, equipment gives you some bonus when you brew. It's just like your brewmeister, only it'll give you a bonus. For example, if you had this mash turn, um, you would use one less of whatever that is. Um, ale, no. <laughs> uh, malt. You'd lose one less but malt. But it also counts as a hop? Only if you play it that way. When, you play, once, when you're choosing to play it into your brewery, the, what it is doesn't matter. So this will stay down forever. If you play it as an ingredient, it'll go away at the end of the turn and get recycled. So you're deciding, essentially. do you need brew more or do you need stuff more for your brewery more? I've seen okay. all of our houses. We need stuff less. We uh, need so much less stuff. Okay. Oh, man. 
I guess I'm gonna draw. Okay. Um, well, again, drawing doesn't prevent you from brewing or playing later. Right, right. Um, you said night shift, and now night moves is playing in my head. Well, don't sing it. We'll get us pinged for copyright infringement. <laughs> I'm calling oh, it like, quietly to myself. I'm going to play the night shift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mark's Speaking working on night his shift. night moves. <laughs> All right, that comes back to me then. I'm at five, which means I pretty much have to play or brew something this turn once I draw the seven. Or, well, I guess technically next turn. Um, what do I need? Probably needs everything. I don't have enough crap. <laughs> Let's take a brewery tour. And this. You are the worst. Nope, I want this far. Ever. You're not the worst anymore. You may stay. Why am I not? Because I wanted something. I take it back. Whatever made her angry, that's what I do. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to brew myself an ale, which requires one of these wheat looking guys. Are Wait, they... do you brew after you draw? Yeah, yeah. you draw, then brew. Okay. You can either brew or play. Gotcha. Or if you have the night shift, pl pl brew, then play. So. Um... Okay, but you are burning a because it's, that's the only way you get ingredients is for burning all right. the other stuff. So, ale requires me to have one malt, two hops, uh, three hops this time, right foot, left stomp, and then some yeast. So that is all I need to brew those. Worth three points, so I move my rep counter up to three. And then these all go to the discard pile. Now, because I have the night shift, I can also play a card into my brewery. And I think I'm going to play a brewery tour. And then play moves to Amanda. Who knows? So you draw two cards I, I, I got, from somewhere. I got, I got that part. Um, but I want to do stuff. <laughs> All right. I would, like, I would like that. And I think I would also like that. Oh, but I can only play one card. Hateful. You can only play one into your brewery. You can brew with as you many cards as you want. to get down to seven at this point. Right. Two, three, she should four, only have five, seven. Six, seven. So I'm good. Yeah. No Trevor rules. We're good. Trevor was a friend of ours who, once in a ten card hand limit game, had a hand of twenty cards. <laughs> That's why she keeps saying Trevor rules. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, let's play Old Man Moses. We're good. Okay. Well, that's just crazy racist, but, uh... No! No, we didn't mean that! She didn't say Uncle Remus. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Ben. Uh, Uncle Tom. Wow. Um, wow. Off the rails. Okay, so you've played a card, so you're good? Yes. Cannot get your ship out. <laughs> ship my pants. <laughs> guys, gonna, guys, it's getting bad. I'm gonna ship my drawers. This is why Mark isn't allowed to play games. Has anyone even said ship? I don't even know what he's doing right now. I don't now. know. <laughs> Uh, I've got a brewery tour, which means probably I need an employee manager. Um, and I don't have enough to brew, so Amanda's up. Okay. Um, I'm all there. In like two seconds, I will be all there. Let's go for you two, and let's just... So you were almost there? Do <laughs> Shut up. Old man Moses. Old Man Moses, is that, the, is that your label's like name? Your Old Man Moses Brewery? Yes, yeah. yes, I like that. Okay. I'm going to do that, and then you can either lay down something or you can brew. Right. Okay. Then I will, oh, but that's a good one. Oh, but it's the first one that came up. This is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible game. It's not. It's a wonderful game. She got really intense, right? It's not just me. I think she's <laughs> schizophrenic. <laughs> wow! No, because I, I want to... Fortunately, we have a psychologist no, on we staff. Aren't. On staff, so... <laughs> right? Okay, then I'm just going to do it. I'm going to brew ale. All right. Yes? So ale yes. is two pine cones, a wheat, and some fairy dust. <laughs> yes. And you got two pine cones, wheat, and, and fairy, fairy dust. dust. There yes. you go. So, so now I get the three. Right, ales were three points. Are either of your things going to come into effect? Yes. I get um, an extra wheat. You may take one from the face up pile, but unfortunately, there's no wheat out there. 
Well, that was terribly That's done. That's unfortunate. Well, you still got your three points, so you're tied for first place. And now I know for next time. And you're living army strong. Yes. And Mark's up. I'm going to take one of these. And... That was so unfortunate. You know what? I'm going to take this. Oh, he gave the well, phone. you know what? Hold the, hold the phone. Shut the front door. Seriously, the air's on. Shut the door. <laughs> We're born in the barn. <laughs> Alright, I guess I will take my malt expert. He's got a fruity malt expert. And I'm going to brew something. So, like, fairy dust is wicked rare, right? Not really. Okay. That just happens to be the way the cards have come up. So then I just burn that. I mean, I your card tells you exactly how many are in there. So, oh. 10 yeast. So, it's rarer than malt or hops, but not as rare as fruit or coffee. I burned that guy. Certainly for not no wicked reason. rare. Not outside of Boston, anyway. All right, so get in there. You Take see, your time. You see you the cards he's got in his hand? Yeah. There's a lot going on there. Mm -hmm. I have to get him oh, like a. Where's that? Yes. There we go. Okay, I'm going to brew a an iambic pentameter, a lambic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has fruit. There we go. Uh, so that gets me to four, correct? That sounds correct, unless one but of the But I get a plus one for Take you back one, one hada <laughs> for the Hebrew, Hebrew God. The Hebrew God. <laughs> Take this to four, uh, and then this goes away. And then you get one and extra. I have, hmm? So you were going to get four just oh, for yeah, brewing so the lambic, so it should be five. Right. There you These go. go into the discard. There. And because I have the night shift, I can play another card you into can. my brewery. You are correct, sir. And I start getting good at games. I will put. It's always good at games. Uh, some equipment and quit my brewery. Yes. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. Start players back to Amanda. All right. Back to me. I would like to take that. Well, but the more stuff you get, the, hard, the easier it is to brew the high point right. stuff. Except now I only have two guards. So. Right. Well, you draw two per round. And I You're can good. play my night shift now. Yes. Okay. And then but it doesn't good. count. Well, right, but technically round. because it only lets you play after brewing. Okay. So you can't, right. you've already... Yes. On the team, yes. So you're good. So then Marcus is up. Hmm, you need one less <laughs> Call him Marcus. Yes. Yeah, I respond to that. He got lost in his own museum. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me! I know the way! Hops infuser. That looks very interesting. You might want to go back a few minutes and see how similar his vo Yoda voice is to his Marcus Brody <laughs> voice. I think you'll be surprised. Marcus Brody! Right. Now you just offended half the planet. <laughs> that was Salah. Yeah, but it sounded more Indian than... You just than... offended half of our viewers. You had a British guy playing an Egyptian. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just... Okay. <laughs> so I took one card. So you can take another card either from the wild, wild river or the blind cards. All right. I will get myself a barley grower in the fine tradition of... What's your guy's name? Uh, Old Man Moses. <laughs> Old Man Moses. We're going to do knockoff beer over at my beer brewery. My beer brewery. Uh, and I your am done. Your beer brewery? Old Man Moses. <laughs> I will only do Old Man Moses beer if I can get Dave Chappelle as a spokesman. Yes. I think everything should have Dave, Dave Chappelle as a spokesman. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, so I, I will do beer. some brewing. <laughs> It'll get you drunk. I'm going to brew me a coffee stout with some oh. coffee, some yeast, and some, stout. some, let's say, wheat. No, it's not wheat. It's malt. And some pine cones. Wait, no, it's, it's it. it is wheat. It is oh, that's right. No. It's malt. It's not barley. Right. <laughs> Cheer up, barley. Uh, I keep calling it's it. out there. Yeah. <laughs> we so have a window. That is, we can see that's our, right, right? To our main Two floor. of these, one of these, one of those. Double yep. check that Josh is being honest. Yes, because I don't know where I am a lot of the time. So that's four points for a coffee stout. Takes me to seven. Because of my night shift, I can then play an equipment card in, and I'm going to get me a boil kettle. <laughs> mm. you going to get me one. Are we right. supposed to? Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Are we good? Good? Yep. For each installed what now? Oh, oh, fairy dust. I want that one. You realize you there's already two out here, right? Here. Like fairy dust on it. Well, whatever. I might have realized that now. So when the discard pile runs out, or when you need to draw another card, which is what's going to happen as soon as she comes up, you shuffle your discards into your draw. And obviously things that you play as installed have essentially left population. So I've essentially halved the ability of people to make Specials because I've got two fruits installed in my uh, <laughs> brewery. 
And I'm going to play... Um, Newman. It actually looks like Larry. It's Newman. Uh, yes, it does look like our friend Larry. Actually, all of the people on the cards are people who work at the uh, game manufacturer, I believe. Huh? Oh. Look at that. I, use some I think that's six. Elvis Costello. Yes. <laughs> what and, and do you I get pity when you fall in love? Like, that's Tony Shalhoub, isn't it? Yeah, uh, ugly. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to brew ale. Okay. Nope. Nope, that's porter. Yep, that's what I meant to say. I'm doing Ale's that one. coming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make up quotes. <laughs> Random George Lucas movies. movies. Okay, yes. so I'm going to brew that, which gives me, what, three? Uh, should be three one, unless two, you have something three, that modifies it. I do. It. This one gives me an extra one. Uh, nope. Oh, yes, it is for yes, it is A&P. A&P. She's right. A and P, like the grocery store. I got right. you. And then I get to take an extra kerjager. Pine cone. Yes. Nope. No. Pine cone. The, no. Oh, wheat. I'm sorry. I was looking at his symbol. Which that's is also my, not that's wheat. My mistake. Oh, it's wheat. Uh, and then I'm going to put down this lovely equipment. Wheat. 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 <laughs> cool whip. And I'm done now. Okay. Go team. All right. Well, I need some of this. And I need some of these. <laughs> Needs me some of that. Let's see. Some of this. Good. Okay. Let the brewing commence. Ta-da! Let the emptying of a hand commence. The special reserve has been brewed. Oh my gosh, Mark. Ooh. How fancy it is. All right. So that gets me to uh, 11. You're the worst. Plus, I get two from this guy. Yep. So that takes me to 13. Plus, I get one over yep. here. That takes ah. me to 14. And then you get back one. Hada. Uh, <laughs> take one wheat. Wheat. <laughs> this is my, what my hand consists of at this point. <laughs> old man Moses. And then I can play one hand. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> With the night shift. I oh yeah, if you have, if it's something you don't already have, you can play that field. All right. There you go. Farm. See, what he was worried this would take too long, and they destroyed us in one turn. Take, uh, I don't know. He's gonna pull something fancy out, or he's been sitting on a card all night. Mark Boker, fancy. <laughs> fancy book. So, if, can I have more than one? No. The name. Playing? The name is your distinction. So it says farm. So you can only have one farm. Okay. You fancy. only have one mashed up. Here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. <gasps> Some Reba from Take myself. that. And... That. And then I will brew. Brewing! I will brew... Like a light that comes on. Yeah. A porter. Which is three points. I'm a brew one, a porter. Two, three. <laughs> gonna brew it good. Uh, one I'm more for your oak barrel one house. One more for my oak barrel house. After brewing. So you can take one, I may one take hop and one. one wheat. No. <laughs> one hop and one barley. Or no. Malt. Hops. Hops and malt. Hops. Well, there's only one malt out there. And malt. So. I will take this one. And. That's the only one. I guess that's the only one I can take. All right, and these go in the discard pile. Discard. Shuffle these up real quick. Please give me back the wheat. And then this goes to you. It does, except, yes. <laughs> these are just the worst. Uh, I can't, I don't think I can play anything right now, so you are up, Amanda. Yep. Oh, oh, you're not, you're okay. Okay. You're not the worst. I don't know if I am okay. My therapist Annie, doesn't think Annie, so. Are you okay? You're you're good. Let's see a list of the pop culture movies and songs we've referenced. This <laughs> and um, I shall also take maybe more one. wheat, <laughs> except the tops. And then I'm going Malt. to brew. Bing bing! I'm brewing. Yay! My ale. More ale. It's like your... One, two, three. I brew all the ale. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get an extra one there. And then I get wheat back. Oh. Oh! Maple. Now you can, you can still install something because yes. of your night shift. And I will install a... Tour. Not sure how you install a tour, but all right. I'll take it. <laughs> Brewery tour. All right. 
They just don't want me to win. <laughs> that's what that's it is. Intense. This is my true. one chance to beat Mark at something. Um, I just don't have it in me, unfortunately. Let's... <laughs> that's a different game. <laughs> also, I think you're supposed to stick at the end. I know, I didn't want to show you who I had. Bring up more special reserve over there? It's Newman. I'm going to... Um, <laughs> Newman Larry. Make a coffee stout the oh. really, really inefficient way, uh, which is two malt, uh, and then I can use one less... Uh, sorry. Nope, that's only for lambics. Son of a... Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. I'm going to pay two fruit to make up that pine cone I don't have. Oh, I forgot you could do that. And then I'll have the peri dust and the clams to make me a coffee stout. Really? You burned the last fruit for that? I know, right? So one, two, three, four, and then I get one extra for having an oak barrel house. That's... And then I get back one wheat and one barley, except there's no barley, or no, there's no wheat. So I'll take this guy. That's a hot. Right, I get one of each. Okay. I, hey, look, I just can't get that one. Is. I'd have to check the rules. I'm going to say no for the purposes of this exercise. Okay. Um, so then those all go into my discard. I can still play into my thing, and I'll play this Porter Specialist. I cannot have another Newman. I bet it was that guy who came up with that idea. He's got very fine he hair. He seems like that guy, He looks guy, like he's right? looking at Jesus is the part that I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to... Wait, you get a player. You took the cards, right? Yes. Thank you. I'm done now. You're done? Yes. Okay. Because I could not brew. Okay. Sadly, I was without brewage. All right, well, I'm going to go with... Uh, some, some fancy piano playing. One of these. And one of these. And I will brew an ale. Ah! Oh. Which is uh, enough to trigger the end of the game, I believe. Yes. Takes On us to own. 21. I have no... Well... No. I don't have any of these. Please go away. Uh, do I still pick up my stuff? You can. Stuff? You because yes. you could still install it, theoretically. Ah, uh, uh, yes. But installing it won't do you any good if you don't have any cards that benefit from installed cards. Right. That one. So you cannot worry about it. Oh. That's right. It's wheat. Wheat and wheat. Wheat. Uh, and then and it then doesn't help me. Kerjiggers. Oh, yeah, sorry. Kerjiggers is my word today. But it really... You can't play that in your I can't play any of these, right? Because yeah, so. you have them. So, I just hold on to them. Right. Yep. So now, so if we... Mark was not the last player, because okay. that was the round where I was first player. Right. So if Mark was not the last player, we would finish the round out so that everybody got an equal number of turns. Mark is the last player, though, so his score of... Did you go to exactly 21? I did. Yes. Wait, Did you add in your bonus? Because I moved it there. Okay. I brewed an ale. Where's my bonus? He doesn't no, I'm I saying, do bonus. any of your cards have no, a bonus no, for no. ale? That's what no. I was asking. Okay, no. so it's exactly 21. So then we go to end game scenario. So you total up your points plus any bonus points you get for having the brewery tour or the employee manager. So I've got oh. a brewery oh. tour... Which means for each equipment, I get three. I get a point. So one, two, three points for so that. So I can lose. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Maybe. But you're not going to. But. Yeah. And then for each ma employee manager, you get a point for every worker you have. And I've got three of those. So one, two, three it takes me to eighteen. Okay. So one for my equipment, and then one, two, three, four, five. Does she count too? No, she doesn't have the symbol on her. Does card. the night shift count? The night shift does count because it has the symbol. Gotcha. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. All right, so final score, Mark, 21. Hey. Josh, 18. <laughs> Let's go get a beer. Amanda, 17. This is the second time I've lost. This is the second video, and it's the second time I've lost. And it's well, the second time you Amanda need to point it out. Uh, <laughs> so that is Brewcrafters uh, with the special Josh Rules variant uh, from Dice Hate Me Games. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a good implementation of a Euro sensibility in a fast play travel card game. Fits in a purse. It's awesome. What's not to love? I liked it more than I thought I would when we started, and Josh was rattling off all of the right. minutia of the game that just sounded like he was the teacher from Charlie Brown talking while I was trying to figure out how to play this. But I won, so... So there you have it. There you have it. Once again, yes. If I can play it and win, anyone can. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.